It is that time of year again. Yep, you guessed it, pumpkin season. Let's make a really fun recipe today that's a little sweet, a little crunchy, and perfect for dipping. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel where we get together in the kitchen every week and we explore different recipes together. Today we are going to be making a date sweetened pumpkin biscotti. Let's begin today by adding one half of a cup of pumpkin puree to either a high speed blender or a food processor. Next, I'm going to add in one half of a cup of melted and cooled coconut oil. Substitutes include olive or avocado oil or melted butter or ghee. Six large pitted and chopped up dates, about three quarter cup worth. One egg or chia or flax egg substitute. Last, I have one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Blend up your mixture really well. I let my blender run for almost a full minute and then set your mixture aside. In a large mixing bowl, add in one and three quarter cups of gluten-free baking flour. I'm using Bob's one to one. For our spices today, I am adding in two teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon, one teaspoon baking powder, one half teaspoon ginger, one half teaspoon pink Himalayan or sea salt, and one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Whisk together all of your dry ingredients and then pour in your date and pumpkin mixture. That mixture will be thick. Mix together to form a dough. Using your hands may be helpful to fully incorporate the ingredients. Add a little bit more flour if your dough is too wet and a little bit of coconut oil if it is too dry. If you'd like to add in some nuts or dried fruit, fold them in now. I'm using one quarter cup of chopped up almonds. On a parchment lined baking sheet, form your dough into a log or an oval shape with about three quarter to one inch thickness. Bake in a 300 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes. Remove from the oven and then let cool for just a few minutes. Using a serrated knife, Gently slice your biscotti by pressing the knife directly down into desired size pieces in a diagonal line. Turn your biscotti so that the cut side is facing up and there is room between each cookie. Place the biscotti back in the oven for about 30 minutes, flipping halfway through. As a side note, cooking time can really vary depending on how thick you sliced your biscotti, how wet your dough was, and how crunchy you like your cookies to be. So just keep baking and flipping about every 10 minutes until you reach your desired texture. Definitely be sure to allow your biscotti to fully cool before storing them in an airtight container. Our pumpkin biscotti are ready for a taste. For fun, I melted up a little bit of stevia sweetened chocolate chips and I drizzled that over top, totally optional. Also, these lamps that I film under are really hot, so I think my chocolate is still a little bit soft, but it will harden. <laughs> These are so good. Little crunchy, little sweet, perfect for dipping, super fun, and I'm sure the pumpkin flavor will come out more and more as they sit. These are delicious, give them a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, have a happy and healthy Halloween, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.